Okay, so here we are with the cast of Heart and Souls. Matt Bowden and Kate Karimian. Hey! Hello. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us and trying to remember Project 52. 10 years ago, this oh my week, gosh. we released Heart and Souls, the first of the films. Can you believe 10 years? I, no. I can't. I can't. That's a long time. It was a long time ago. I know it was quite a long time ago. I remember when I texted you, Matt, like about doing this. You basically just wrote ten years. <laughs> I know, I know. I that how did that even happen? How did that even happen? I don't know. We're just old now. Yeah. I feel like it doesn't help that we're in a time vacuum right now. So like, time is meaningless. It's still March of 2020 in my mind. So. Yeah, I agree. Wow, there were there was something before distant memory. Yeah, it's hard to even remember like <laughs> like two years ago. Forget yeah. ten. I agree with that. Well, I guess yeah. twenty twenty kind of felt like it was ten years all rolled into one. Yeah, so true. ten years before twenty twenty feels like years. decades ago. Seriously, yeah, it's been it's been twenty years since Heart and Souls. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what we wanted to do with this whole remembering Project 52 um, is that we wanted to come on with the cast or whoever can join us, watch the film together as a group. Some of you might not have seen this film for possibly 10 years or quite a while. Um, and then pretty much um, discuss the experience, discuss how you felt about the film when we were making it, you know, kind of where you are now in your life a little bit too, if you want to share that. Just, you know, just kind of think about the past and like recollect about the good times we had making all these, you know, crazy films 10 years ago and what the experience was like. I know Matt, you were heavily involved because you did a lot of behind the scenes. Oh yeah. Yeah. That was, that was my jam. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you were there for coming up with like concepts and like just the, the fun antics we had like in our, in the same kitchen right here. We are right now. <laughs> oh God. Many, many late nights oh, in yeah. that kitchen. A lot of <laughs> editing and just thinking about morning. concepts and oh my gosh. <laughs> A lot of good times. Morning editing. Yeah. <laughs> All the bonus feature Fridays you edited. Oh. Wow, I forgot about that. Was that additional or or like behind the scenes bonus feature Friday? Yeah, it was mostly like behind the scenes footage of, we didn't do it for every single film because we didn't know we shoot behind the scenes, but it was like outtakes. I didn't get a bonus feature Friday for my feet. No. Still that waiting on it. No, the first, yeah, the first one didn't get one. I don't think we did it for like a couple weeks. All yeah. right, so I'm I'm rooting for a bonus feature 2021. For really, what it was, what what it was, was there was too much footage to put into the actual film, and uh, and we were like, oh man, but this is really good. Can't we just release this like later on? In the week? Sure. Well, I guess then, this is this being the first one that was like a really fleshed out idea where some of them were just kind of like improvise. Let's see where it goes. This was also choreography, essentially. Yeah. That's yeah. A good it was hard to really have extra material because it was built around that song. Yeah. Yeah. Everything Why didn't we do a tap dance, Matt? <laughs> I, you know, hindsight is 2020. <laughs> 2021. <laughs> uh, okay, before so, we actually no. watch, <laughs> before we watch it together, um, just what were your thoughts going into it? Because it was the first one, so we didn't have anything to go off of. of like, oh, this is, this is what the rest of them were like. You know, this might come out pretty cool. And it was just basically, hey, show up and wear different shoes, and we're just going to tell you what to do, and we're going to shoot your feet. So, Kay, what were your thoughts like going into it? Like, what is this going to be, and what's this even going to turn out to be? Why am I even doing this right now? Um, well, I was home essentially for only a couple of weeks between ending school and moving. And so I don't even think I had shoes. I had to crowdsource shoes. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I, I, I don't know if I'm accurately recalling this or not, but it seemed kind of last minute to, to me of uh, like, hey, you're in town. Um, I don't think I was the first choice in casting. Maybe it's the size of my shoe. No, I think it was because I was not necessarily, it wasn't known that I was going to be around maybe. 
um, because I was long distance for most of that year. That's true. Um, so, so it was just kind of like, yeah, sure, I'll do a thing. I don't have to worry about lines or rehearsal or anything. Yeah, sure, you can do stuff with my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> standards were low <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah there also there also wasn't all of these other films with which to be like oh man what's it gonna be it was it was very like um I didn't really think that much about it and I had made other shorts with you in the past so I was pretty comfortable with whatever the process was going to be cool yeah I about you Matt I think that's the thing too, is like, Kay is my sister <laughs> and yeah. like you and I were together for such a long time that it's not like you were novel in Kay's life either. We have worked together with Kay before. And so I think it was probably a much more like out there experience for Matt, honestly. Cause Matt, we didn't know of, that well. Oh that. yeah. And Matt yeah, was also yeah. used to being behind the camera for his yeah. own projects. So like being in front of the camera was probably just really weird in general. But then it's like, be in front of the camera, just show us your feet. You totally had to crowdsource shoes too, because a bunch of those shoes were not yours. A bunch of those were Sean's shoes, actually. No, yes. they were Dave's shoes. And there was a combination. Oh, yeah. Shoes. There was a combination. Yeah. There, I think only like two or three of them were actually my pairs. <laughs> I had, I had, I, it was not good. I did not have that many shoes back then. Um, <laughs> not good. But, uh, but yeah, I remember when, um, when I got the text from, from I think Sean texted me um, about the movie and I was like, yes, absolutely. Like, I was so excited. I was like, thank you for asking me. Thank you for including me. I just want to be part of it. And, um, uh, you know, he was like, it's a movie about feet. I was like, sure. <laughs> okay a movie right, say, about say no more say no more um but it was uh you know it, it, i think once we uh kind of got the concept and like you guys explained like what you know you showed us the song and like what's going to happen i think we were like yeah this could really work this could be really great okay cool awesome that's cool cool to hear i remember like for us like coming up with the idea of that film it was the weirdest thing we were sitting on the couch together and like we started having like thoughts to like I had thoughts in my head and Christina had thoughts in her head and they started matching up and like we started having the same ideas for certain scenes like happening same exact time. I was almost like finishing each other's sentence for that first one. It was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. and I think like for me personally, that actually cemented Project Fifty Two. Like that experience, the very first movie was like, oh, we're putting this together. Oh wow, we're really doing this thing. Yeah and i'm all in okay let's make this happen huh. because of the process of this movie yeah because what the, if it felt what so if what if it wasn't good yeah. <laughs> would you have been like project only one yeah <laughs> well <laughs> I check. you know in 2010 I had done Project 365. Yes. So that's actually where it came from. Yes, exactly. Is that like taking a photo every single day. Um, and then you were like, man, I, this is so cool. I wish we had something like this for filmmaking. And you were like, why don't you? And I was like, what do you mean? Make one a week. I'm like, that's insane. I can't do that. And then it just kind of like, okay, well, let's try it. And then you did. It was pretty then, bonkers. Yeah. I think the the success of the first one was definitely monumental in the fact that yes like this let's get this train going you know the response that it got it, everything it was like this is going to be something you know if, if it didn't if it, everything didn't fall into place the way that it did you know yeah what, it what are the stats on this film funny you should ask oh, i have it handy she has the stats right there uh, <laughs> so the theme genre and random element the theme was shoes the genre was romance and the random element was a baby toy. Who and asked, this, who this came up with these? We can't remember where they came from because we didn't have actors before that. I don't know if we just picked things randomly for that. I don't I think we, I know, I think you did. I think you just picked something out of a hat and then you said moving forward. Yeah, yeah because I remember do. I picked mockumentary for what followed. Yes. So the view count on Heart and Souls as of tonight is 4,771 views. Wow. It would have been really nice if we got to like a nice round 5K. Yeah. <laughs> you know? 
I know, but Matt, That's I remember, I remember being, I think we were at Olive Garden and we were out to dinner and it was like us and, and you and Dave and it was like Olive Garden on Valentine's Day and that's when we found out that a bunch of like bigger YouTubers oh, they sh- that's when got behind. Ha- yes, like got behind this movie, and we're like, it's Valentine's Day, and this is what you should be watching. And I remember that feeling so vividly of us being like, it's happening, and we didn't even know what yeah. it was, but it was just like, this is so cool. Yeah, it yeah, jumped, it, it jumped it to like all the falling into place one day. Yeah, that was that was a pretty crazy night. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that should it should have blown up more than that. I feel like I feel like you know it was just it, and and it was in a place where we were like, you know, it, we just were so excited. We were so like passionate about it. It was just a really good um, like I don't know. It was just a good like group of people in a good like environment. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Cool. Can we watch it? Yes, we can watch it. Yes. Okay, here we go. Enjoy. All right, Matt, do you want to be Statler or do you want to be Waldorf? What? <laughs> the Muppets. The, the oh. two old guys in, in the little booth. Oh, God, I wish I prepared. I would have come up with some good. Don't have that coat anymore. Puns. Oh, don't have those boots anymore. Those boots were awesome. Those Love the boots. are totally Sean's. No, those are not mine. Oh, really? No, those 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 shoes are mine. I really wish we were on a sidewalk. Well, there's no sidewalk. Center each didn't have any sidewalks. <laughs> don't have those shoes anymore. Those are Dave's shoes. Are those Dave's? They're my shoes. No, not those. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute they are. Wow, that's great foot acting. I, I, where did I, where, did I walk you home from your house? <laughs> I guess so. Oh, oh. <laughs> Should have broke up with those feet right then and there. <laughs> Step on my toe, I'll show you. <laughs> She's like, uh, I'm just gonna let you do the walking. Oh, here's the best foot acting in the entire movie. You could you could tell the anxiety in my hand as I'm and holding. And this is like, how oh, I earned my way into the union. <laughs> One of the biggest something in those boxes. Oh, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> it always bothered me that I let the bo- box down on my foot. I know you always <laughs> say that. <laughs> Now, who in their right mind would get married in January barefoot? Barefoot. And sleep oh, in their socks. <laughs> That's They're great. not sleeping. I sleep in my socks. That's true. They're not sleeping. <laughs> They're oh, why didn't we invite feet. those those small feet to the no, reunion? He's not small anymore. His feet are bigger than Yeah, all of he's ours. in eighth grade. He's taller than all of us. Not invited to the reunion. Oh, was the, is that the the hidden thing? The little yes. um, the baby toy was the book. The I think book. It was also, a like Minnie Mouse toy at some point. Those were my mother's shoes. Oh, this is always a very debated part of the movie. Yes. Uh, Who died? People didn't like that uh, emotional manipulation. Uh, no. This is my favorite part of the movie right here. That's, those are, those that's are your my shoes. shoes and my jacket. And my shoes. And I think and maybe not even my pants like either. <laughs> Listen, I gotta say, wardrobe was on point for this movie. I I really believe that we were old people at the end. It worked. I it, I don't remember a lot about making this movie, except I remember Matt taking the ending very seriously and me being like, I'm a little old lady. <laughs> And Matt being like, stop, I'm trying to act. <laughs> and I'm like, they can't hear me, sonny boy. I was like, I was like, so, I was like so serious. I was like, I have to really land this ending. And she's like, oh, here I am, this little old lady. You like scolding? Stick the landing. Oh my god. Were you scolding? I 
Oh. I think that the the oldness red, personally, the way the slow it. foot over, yeah. like you clearly could tell I had arthritis. Oh yeah, totally. I totally. Oh yes, I yeah. Foot just kind of crawling over. So why don't you talk about why you made the choice to have a character die? and like who that was meant to be because that has been seriously one of like the most hotly debated seriously one of the most things that people have commented on it's like who was that and why did you do it well we decided to do that because the the film kind of shows just passages of of time and life and like certain points of your life it shows during relationships and like death is part of that someone is going to die at some point in your life in your relationship and like it was to me, it was always supposed to be one of their parents because it was like my parent, my, you know, my dad, my mom had passed away at that point, so it was like someone visiting their parent at the grave, and then the other right. Matt's character was there, but like maybe he was late or like he was just kind of like staying back, but then he came into comfort. So, but a lot of people have that's said, that's how I thought, yeah, yeah. A lot of people thought that Matt was dead, and this was some other man <laughs> coming in, <laughs> or <laughs> so the twist. point. The point of the story is. <laughs> you'll fall in love it doesn't matter you'll always find new love <laughs> yeah. as long as you have the right pair of shoes <laughs> yeah yes you waited around for the per the man to fit into those shoes and it's like that's Cinderella wow that's a whole other level of April is future Friday that could alternate be alternate yeah. ending yes <laughs> okay so I'm not sure the last time you've seen this film but uh, thoughts after watching it for some time Oh, I watched it last week. <laughs> was it not I was to? I was going to watch it and then I was like, "Uh, I don't know if I should have a I should have a fresh reaction." Because the last time I watched it was like, "Oh god, it must have been like 8 or 7 or 8 years." Wow. Yeah. It's been a while. Um but yeah, it's it's you know what? Always I always remember watching it is um okay, that one scene where the couple has their first kiss and uh, <laughs> we were oh, and I I stood asked, on my toes yes i asked you i said because our faces were in it i was like do we actually kiss <laughs> <laughs> and you were like i don't know whatever you feel <laughs> and he, he said action and you were like this with my nose you were like <laughs> <laughs> That sounds right. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I guess we'll just, I guess that's how it's going to go. You wanted <laughs> a little tongue. Like Eskimos. So that's the, there's your bonus features. Above that that shot is we're just. Oh my God. Silly. Oh my God. Brilliant Eskimos. idea. Project 2021. Do all the movies over from a different vantage point. And this movie you're going to do from the, you know, ankles up. I don't think anybody would be nearly as charmed no. by that movie, unfortunately. But I do, I do wish we had a second camera going, we'll, capturing. We'll call it, we'll walking. call it heart and limbs. Heart and limbs. Heart and limbs. <laughs> oh. Don't like that so much. Yeah, it does sound kind of like a gruesome movie. It sounds like an heart awesome and movie. limbs. <laughs> I don't mind it so much. Okay, so we have a couple of questions. We're gonna throw out there to you folk. Um, well, do, we could start with this one here. Um, so we haven't seen possibly you in a while. We don't know what's going on. Some people we know what's going on in their lives, but you know, it's been okay, 10 we years. we just saw you for Christmas. Yes. <laughs> it's been 10 years. Can you share, you know, maybe a little bit what your life is like now, of where you're at? You know, some people possibly could move away. Some people have gotten, you know, different career paths, things like that. So what is your life like now? If you want to share anything about that as well too. Go for it, Matt. Oh, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking Pressure's at you. Like, on. It's a big question. <laughs> it is. Um, I well, um, yeah. I mean, I have my own house. I live with um, my boyfriend of a long time, and you know, we're very happy together. And I got into the field of, um, you know, the medical field, uh, and. You know, I love what I do. I love our life here. We have, you know, a pretty good life. Um, I don't know, like what else, what other things, what other factors? Uh, I'm, 
I, uh, <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know. Do, do, do you have a Christine? Do you have a, a list of questions to ask? Uh, well, <laughs> is, is, Michael, is Michael there? Does, does he want to? <laughs> well, Michael's here. Yes. He's, is he he's, he's, sitting uh, right he's, next to you? He's lounging. <laughs> he's like he's giving me the no, the no. He's not camera ready quite. He's like, I, wasn't, I wasn't on board with this. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, I have, we have four loud birds, um, birds, we, birds. Yeah. Yeah. We're bird people. It's a zoo in this house. <laughs> um, and, oh, you will appreciate this. I still have my Christmas tree up. Yay. <laughs> um, I don't know. So, that's, okay, that's you, it. Told us, you told us what has changed the most for you. That you're now a homeowner, you're in a long term relationship with Michael, and that um, you're in the medical field, which is all very different. So, is there anything that is the same for you as it was 10 years ago? Thank you. I don't know. When, when we made this, I was 20. Wow, so, baby. I, yeah, I, I was a baby. Um, I don't know, a lot changes in 10 years, you know, uh, I'm not pretty crucial time for change. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I, I thought you didn't want to be in it. Do you want to be in it or no? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I still, you know, I, I always thought that I'd be more involved in like, you know, theater and film and stuff. I'm not, doesn't mean I'm not interested in it. Um, but uh, what else? What else has changed? I, you know. No, not I'm, what changed, I'm, stayed the same. I don't know what stayed the same, what stayed the same. Um, Nothing, you're I'm complete, adorable. you're a new man. Yes, you're still I'm adorable. adorable. You're still adorable. <laughs> you're still adorable, that's true. That's very true. Um, Wait a minute. The last time that we were all together was 2014 because Matt was there when we got married in the church. Yes. Yes, I was there when you renewed your vows. Oh, I just had so like this. Six years ago. I just had this image of like us in the church basement having a photo shoot. <laughs> yes. Yes. I remember that. Now. I had a photo shoot and I was like, As wait, one does. that did happen. <laughs> well, thank you, Matt. Sorry for putting you on the spot. No, that's, that's okay. I, I would have. I would have come prepared with with answers, list, but no. I mean, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, that's you know. You I'm still wear size me. eleven. I I do actually. You know what? Believe it or not, I went down to ten and a half. What? I think I was just wearing my shoes big back then. So <laughs> ten and a half is better for me. <laughs> so that's what's changed as well. Yes. Okay. I'm a whole new person. <laughs> Okay, how about you? What what has changed and what do you feel, if anything, is uh, the same? I was hoping you'd forget I didn't answer this yet. Yeah. And that you'd be, so, you'd be wowed by Matt's answers and be like, Matt answered for both of you. Oh, no. I, I, I too have stayed no. adorable. <laughs> this um, is true. Not a homeowner. I don't have four birds. Uh, you want well, one? I can give you a few. <laughs> I want zero birds. <laughs> Um, well, like I said before, uh, I had just completed school maybe two weeks before this. So on the precipice of a major transition at that point, um, and had moved, I've now moved several times since then. And so I, um, am back in New York. Um, and, uh, I was beginning my career in theater from college and have since been working for the past 10 years to join the union and have enjoyed a, a healthy career, although theater's in a coma now. So who knows? Um, but I'm in New York. Um, yeah, a lot has changed in my life. Um, what stayed the same? Not a lot. <laughs> uh, my oh, my shoe, my shoes also changed um, in that I wear men's shoes predominantly now, but I don't know my size offhand. But so I'm not no longer a women's size whatever. 
I don't know. Not a lot stays stays the same in ten years. It's yeah, you know, exactly. It it a lot of growth happens in that time, you know. Mm. For sure. Well, I mean, I think the consistent thing for UK has been performance, and yeah. I think that's part of like, is it going to stay the same in the exact way that it was? No, of course not. You know, like everything changes and grows, but I think that consistency was really more what I was asking for. If there was anything that you were like, this was really important to me at that time, or this was a person um, that like really I was super close friends with, and now that has stayed the same, like things like that that are like for some people unchanging. So that was, I guess, kind of like what I, I mean, Yeah. you know, you're, you're still my guy. Absolutely. That, that was, yeah. that happened 10 years ago. <laughs> and the reason we wanted to ask the question, sorry to put you guys on the spot, but um, one of the, we yeah, wanted to ask- a big question. That, it was a big question, but the reason that I wanted to ask that question personally, I'm not sure about you, is that like during the project, we built such a community of people that were kind of rallying behind us and like supporting us and like caring so much about us that we thought when we started like talking about doing this, like what is everyone doing now? It's been 10 years. Like some people have moved away. They have kids now. They have like whole different lives. And so we, some of the people that we work with were like in college or just out of college, just starting their lives yeah. or like on the precipice of starting their lives. So we wanted to figure out like, what are they actually up to now? Like they cared so much about us then, Yeah. you know, what's been going on in their lives since then. But it is a, a very big question. So yeah. sorry to put you on the spot. And like I think that. I think also something that's like very different from our, per, our perspective, maybe from anybody else's, is that, you know, for us, we kind of look back at these movies almost like our little babies. So like for us, there is there probably will always be a certain level of fondness in looking back at these movies. Whereas I think we're probably going to talk to a lot of people that are like, it was a long time ago and it was it's now a blip on the radar for me. And so like, it's just kind of interesting to, for us to think about. Well, yeah, I mean, it was your entire year for me. Yeah. That was like a couple of hours. Yeah. yeah. In, in terms of, in terms of the impact, you know, mm -hmm. um, yeah. like, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely was rooting for you all year, but it wasn't how I used my time, you know? I mean, Matt, you could probably speak to that a little bit more because you you had a lot, oh, yeah. a lot of hours. Uh, oh yes, yeah. I was I was there for so much of 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 that whole project, and and I loved every minute of it. I I think that's one of the most important, like, significant parts of that time in my life because it was I was doing something that I loved, you know, with with people I was very close with, and you know honing the skill you know what I mean it was like where else can you do that with that amount of creative freedom and and just having fun doing what you love to do you can't get that everywhere you know yeah I'm really glad that you that you share that that was really nice um yeah you know I mean we we really wanted this to just kind of be like a, a fun reunion too so you know, I mean, as Sean said, like this, this was a really beautiful community that had just kind of like been so excited. It, it was such like a quintessential, like, hey kids, let's put on a show, like old yeah. school movie musical, but like, hey kids, we're making a movie in a week. Who's in? And like, whoever was Babes come in out arms. Of exactly. It was, it was Babes in Arms. <laughs> totally. Yeah. So Babes in Arms with film. It's a, it's a pretty neat thing. Um, they kind of answered some of those questions already, so we don't have to ask them all. Do you have any favorite memories that you haven't talked about already from that film in particular? From that, from that one? Mm -hmm. hmm. I think it was, it was for me, the, the, the one that stuck out is the one that I said with the Eskimo kisses. That was just, that was so funny. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? Uh, Oh, the, when we went to the graveyard and we were like, we're just going to use this random person's grave <laughs> to, to do this, um, right? It wasn't, or was it, it wasn't anybody you knew, right? We just went oh, to a random, no. okay. Because <laughs> I remember we were like, okay, you know, all right. <laughs> it's, that was one of your favorite memories, Matt? <laughs> just because it was funny. We were like, going into this random graveyard it wasn't even like a this huge big cemetery it was like 
It was a small. It was, like, it was, was a smaller. Parents. Yeah, it was a smaller was one. The one by my parents' house. I no. 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 Oh, this was probably the one on like Hawkins that we also used for a broken road. Yes. That was just such a tiny, tiny little place that we were like, okay, we're just gonna pop in and leave. Yeah. Yeah, and I remember just thinking like, I wonder, like. <laughs> if this person could see this, like, what would they think, you know? Well, I will like, say that we were very respectful. There was no the, oh, yes. And we left the flowers there. You left, we left the flowers, yeah. <laughs> so whoever that person was, we paid our respects a little bit. <laughs> and maybe they loved I, films or loved shoes, so. <laughs> uh, I, I think for me, um, I, having just come from school and then diving into... Um, like the hustle of having to pursue this really rigorous career. Um, it was really fun to do something where I didn't have to use my brain so much and could be silly. Um, there are not many projects I've participated in to whatever degree um, where I just got to play. Mm. Yeah. That's awesome. So I've fond yeah. memories. I mean, I, I will say like that movie, because the concept was so succinct, we were all on the same page. They were both very um, just like down for whatever and willing. Mm -hmm. So it all just went super fast and was a lot of fun. And there wasn't a whole lot of stress. Whereas future reunions, we may not be able to reflect so uh <laughs> So, 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 so What's changed in the past 10 years? Well, <laughs> I now take Xanax. Not me personally. I'm speaking I'm speaking to the people who had a very stressful time on their Project 52 programs. Yes. So there, they, there were some rough ones. There, there were, were some rough, rough ones. Yeah. Yeah, but they, this one was so easy and fun. And I think that's where I was thinking, oh, this is going to be just fun and easy the entire time. <laughs> that's that what you fun. thought about the year? <laughs> About making 52 films? Well, then someone gives me mockumentary for the next week, and I'm like, oh, man, what am I going to do with this? I gave, I gave you that. <laughs> that. You know what? That one turned out I really well, though, too. That was, that, that was a really good one. I, I'm very fond of well, that one. You were, you were actually both featured in that film. Kay, you were the one sleeping in bed when, when Kevin the Sandman came to sprinkle your eyes in. And you screamed, and that is one of the parts that consistently makes me squeal with laughter. So look at your face. I haven't, I haven't seen I that probably about that. in ten years. Oh, oh, it's it's that part. We watched it the other day. We watched, we watched it like three times. We were laughing nonstop the entire time between his screaming and your screaming, and, <laughs> and then, then he pushes he you takes in the face. you by the face and shoves you. It's just so good. I don't think that was rehearsed either. That just happened. No, so that that like entire thing was practically unrehearsed. Yeah. Yeah, that was all that entire movie was improv. It was just like, here's the basic idea. Here's who you're playing. Here, drink some wine and have fun. <laughs> for, wait, for I'm that movie, sure. are you gonna have are you gonna have dad for the reunion? <laughs> night. Who is night? <laughs> I don't know. No stinking I'm pretty night. sure Kevin may have actually been drunk. Because in one of the shots in the movie, he literally finishes the bottle. So I'm and like, nobody else was did anyone else drink anything from that? It's so weird. It's it's all right. That's not this movie though. True. That's Our true. feet were much cuter. We need to focus. Yes. But the one thing I'll say about this film is that like this is the one everyone for like weeks and weeks and weeks, I think even towards the end, everyone was like, Oh, that was good, but it wasn't heart and souls. Like the entire mm. year. That's right. Like, oh, did we mm. what on week one? <laughs> we won Project Fifty Two in that year. But you um, know what? That that propelled you to be like, you know what? We we just have to keep going, and we'll get we'll get another good one. Exactly. In. So one day we kept chasing it. Do you guys remember how many uh, Project Fifty Two awards you got that year? Because I'm pretty sure you guys had like best kiss of the entire year. I mean, it was a pretty bold choice to to elevate onto my onto my toes to yeah. have the kiss read. That was very You're bold. very limited. You're very limited to when you're only knees down, you know? So you, you gotta- Sure. I mean, there was a bit of clowning, like the engagement reaction of dancing 
basically, and the tiptoeing over to indicate like the first time you'd hold someone's hand or put your arm around someone, like all of those things come from clowning. Yeah. Oops. And this is not part of this film, but one of my favorite memories Go with ahead. with the whole heart and soul of this thing is that we did the last film where we reenacted the last scene of Christine and I sitting at the bench and our feet were touching. Matt was directing that. And he was so like, oh. no, I know what I'm doing with foot acting. So he was like cracking the whip on us. <laughs> like, That's not good enough. Let's do this again. It was so funny. Like I was the, the guy they brought oh, in. Oh, heel, to, toe, heel. To, he was like to give you the... Yeah, I was the guru. Well, I have to say, we did a, a very poor job, a very poor facsimile thereof of, of your foot acting, the two of you, because now it wasn't bad. In the last movie, <laughs> you're mad. That wasn't bad. No, wasn't my, bad. my ankle articulation was not there to do that last shot the way I I had really hoped. So, uh, yeah, but that, that was so funny that you brought that up because I was just thinking yeah. that too of like the last movie when we had to do it. It is very challenging. You don't realize like trying to capture a person's essence in just their ankle down mm -hmm. is, is very well, Yeah, I mean, I guess that's really like the thing I see is a timestamp of like me at whatever, 21 and you, Matt, at 20. Like that was just very us doing whatever the moment asked of us. So oh, someone else's had, feet would have done something else. Yeah. We also had spent the entire day with our feet in character, you know what I mean? So like finishing it off, you, you know, <laughs> we were like, because we did all the other scenes, we did the whole movie, you know? So did I feel we, like you guys- Did we do it chronologically? Just, did, we, did we shoot yeah. in the sequence that it- Yeah, we, we kept the continuity, not because we're like, well, we have to keep this continuity because then- Yeah, so our feet yes, grew smart. into the roles. Yes, it was very- Yeah, important. yeah. I, by, by that last shot, we were, we were honed, you know, we, we knew what we were doing. <laughs> So that's what it was. We were not honed. <laughs> no, we didn't have we didn't have the time to grow into those roles. No, like they did. No. Yeah, that's what we called on Matt to direct us because like if someone's gonna be able to do this and you know yeah it's gotta be him to hone us. <laughs> um, All right, friends. But keep in mind, keep in mind, it wasn't the goal wasn't to become the characters from Heart and Soul. The, the goal was to just be you. It's true. So just a little nod, and that you did. You nod. just always have a way of putting it together just so sweetly. There's that, always a silver lining. That is what hasn't changed, man. That's what hasn't changed. That's There's always a silver changed. lining. You are adorable, and you have always been the person. I remember this at Project 52, like the awards fest night, that I don't remember what specifically you said, but I remember you were like, oh, I'm not going to be able to say anything as great as these other people, but beautiful, beautiful things. Everyone's crying. Drop the mic. I'm adorable. And I was like, Matt Bowden, oh my god like you're still that person which was the plan which was the plan i was like yeah. <laughs> oh, classic undersell exactly exactly, that exactly. False modesty okay <laughs> <laughs> i think I, I, really... I think i remember saying like uh, i i want to be you when i grow up you know <laughs> something I think like that, that may have happened damn man yes. yeah it was um, well i'm pretty sure i went with the opposite approach in in line with the muppeting behind the scenes that you can't hear since it was a voiceless performance for so for for my award night um just a little bit of uh i don't know zany, zany, zany zaniness <laughs> huh i said we we think there was some roasting going on on your part a little bit a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> They might have made a, a, a skit that you, uh, you actually- You and Dee Bernardo, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, cause you made a musical without me. I mean, unconscionable. <laughs> don't, don't. Really? really? Don't you wiggle, what were you thinking? Don't you wiggle your eyebrows at me. Oh no. <laughs> uh, my phone's gonna die, I'm sorry. Okay, so final question. I did, I, I did not think this through. I, I was just gonna ask. Oh yeah, you asked. I, you I was want. just gonna ask, uh, like, any parting thoughts that you wanted to say before we wrap up. Um, Are you gonna do this with everyone? Yeah. Yep, that's the plan. 
What if you don't want to <laughs> about certain films? We have to do it anyway. We're gonna do. You have to. We're gonna do parting thoughts, and they're gonna be like, "Peace out. I hope you don't do a twenty year. I never want to see your faces again." And then we'll be and like, "Goal is to talk hey, about each film. Well, I'm related to you, so invite me to those ones." <laughs> I mean, I can tell you already, I have reached out to like six films worth of people just proactively to get the dates set up. There are people that haven't even responded at all. Like saw the message on Facebook and were just like crickets. <laughs> See. I mean, 10 years ago, <laughs> like some people might not look back at that time fondly, even if the film was not that, you know. Right. Yeah. Like the film could have been its own experience, but to reflect on the who you were then is a is a difficult thing to have to contemplate. Yeah, well, I don't I don't know that we're really going to be able to dig in so much on that aspect of this mm -hmm. for like the larger cast, but I think just because this was the first one and we know you both and love you both, we well, we well also some of the films are quite long. This was a three minute film. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're watching all the films together, be like, okay, let's make a short and sweet here, quick and dirty. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that we'll approach it quite quick and dirty, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I suppose there's nothing quick and dirty about Project 52. I take it back. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> no. For sure. <laughs> Matt. No. <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> all right. So any final thoughts? Um. Well, I can say that this experience definitely, I will never forget. Mm. But the, the, not, I'm talking just this film particularly, of course, the whole project, but, but this film obviously will always have a place in my heart. <clears throat> Are you crying? <laughs> no, no, I was just, I, I had something in my eye. I, uh, no, I'm kidding. And I <laughs> want to be you when I grow up. <laughs> My beloved. So yet again, oh. yet again, Matt is sweet and just from the heart and Kay is mocking. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's weird. I, I really, I, I really wasn't crying though. I, I, I just sniffed for some reason. Okay. I don't know. It was a nervous sniff. A nervous. Ma Maki smurf. <laughs> uh, parting, parting thoughts. Um, when, I think whenever I, um, it hasn't been recent, but whenever I would tell people about this project, I'd always show them this one because I thought it summarized the creativity of the project as a whole. The intent. And, and spoke for mm. itself. Yeah. Um, like I didn't need to offer, this is what happened behind the scenes and oh, it was improvised. I don't like any, any of that. Like this could just be, here is an example of what a whole year's worth of work became. And this was the beginning the the like nucleus of something much larger than than this to hear that uh you know when we were so close to it like obviously the project 52 awards fest people had such beautiful things to say um but we were all still kind of like steeped in the experience and mm -hmm. how like close it was for some of us um but i think 10 years later to hear like any any level of like this this was really nice or this was really important to me is just really uh, special to hear anybody express. So thank you guys for being a part of this with us, and for um, just being willing to be, you know, on this journey and having a reunion with us. We yeah, we really, really appreciate, appreciate it. it. How old were you when Absolutely, you made this? Thank you. When when you did this? Thirty three. Christine, you Both were not also 33. Time? You're just not going to answer <laughs> no. that. Sorry. You were not 33 because... It was 10 years ago. 34. I was going to say, I I was 29. Yeah. Well, it's one year. Dang. So it's I'm older than you. Five years were older than me. Project? We're, we're older than you were when you, when you did this. Yes. Yes. Wow. That's pretty crazy. That is really... I have not made 52 films. <laughs> many people may, many people will not get to that number and let alone in a year that's that's a lot 